geopolitical uncertainty and tight financial conditions. That's what global chief economists warn will slow down economic growth. While this year's theme here at the World Economic Forum is artificial intelligence, with many wanting to know how much of an impact it will have, leading economists say it would only widen the inequality gap. Conducted each year ahead of the World Economic Forum in Davos, the survey of 60-plus chief economists drawn globally from private and public sectors attempt to sketch priorities for policymakers and business leaders. This year's outlook isn't as promising, with 56% of those surveyed answering that the global economic conditions will weaken this year. They see a significant weakening in Europe and some even expect it to be very weak. While they expect the same for North America and the Middle East, in South Asia, East Asia and the Pacific, things look positive, with many of those shaping the world's economy hoping to see a continuation of growth in China. I'm expecting that him to talk about how China will continue to grow, continue to steer the economic growth in the world. And as China is one of the global leaders when it comes to artificial intelligence, many believe it will boost productivity in high-income economies over the next five years, but also in low-income economies at a slower rate. Although here at the World Economic Forum, they will be launching a new approach to growth and help policymakers balance it when it comes to the environment, technologies, and other priorities, its managing director says that an economic growth for the year ahead will be tested. Evangelos Sipsas for CGTN from Davos.